Hello and welcome back to the bench. Today I'm excited to talk to you about something I've been working on. I've been working on this tube amplifier, this uh, Tweet Deluxe tube amplifier that was able to acquire the schematics online. Um, I'm done with it. I've been testing it. We've been rocking with it and this amp sounds amazing. It's smaller, it's compact, it only uses a 12 inch uh, Anico uh, uh, speaker, but it's, 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 it's strong and it's loud. So let's talk about this and I wanna show you if you're building your amplifier or if you're thinking about putting something together from either a kit or from a bare bone components that you have in your junk box, let me show you what works and what doesn't work and how you can make your process of building your amp a lot smoother and making sure you don't you don't pull your hair out from frustration when you hear that when you power that amp and nothing comes on. So let me talk to you real quick. So I was able to acquire this. We all know what this is. Let me zoom in. Get the part number down here. This is a tube amplifier from a Hammond um, organ or keyboard. I have two of these. The first one I made into a tube amplifier, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. So what we're going to be using is this chassis, that output transformer, which is a 6K, 7K to 8 ohm, and that uh, um, power transformer, which is a 300 volt um, transformer. We're going to gut this out, clean all this off. A lot of folks will repurpose this and turn this into a tube amplifier. We're not doing that because we're making a Tweed uh, Deluxe amplifier based on a, a pair of 6V6. Now let me show you the, the schematic or the outline. Now we all seen this online. See this? It's a 5E3 Deluxe amp fender. Very basic, very simple uh, uh, schematic. Very simple outline and diagram. It uses minimal components. Uh, so this is something we're going to uh, I'll show you what I what I put together and what worked. Um, so we're going to be using this. Okay. So another thing um, I've decided to use uh, to purchase a turret board. I don't have the turrets, so I decided to go online. And they do sell kits online. You can buy the full kit. A lot of kits are from China. I think they come with the chassis, the power transformer, output transformer, tubes, and resistors. Just, just put it together. Just print this out and follow this and put it together. Very simple, very basic. Something you can do too if you have basic uh, knowledge in electronics and it's just how to solder. So let me tell you what I, I also purchased. I just purchased the turret board. Basic turret board meant for the Fender uh, Tweet Deluxe. I think I paid uh, 12 bucks plus like four bucks for shipping. It's a very great turret board. Uh, very, I recommend you go online. If you want to put something together, this is superb. This works. It's, it's spaced uh, just enough where the components um, don't uh, touch or, uh, or, or get in the way with each other. So this is a great turret board. So uh, this is what I purchased um, online on eBay. Uh, all the links for purchasing this and for printing that schematic just uh, will be in the description below. So this is what I'm on a good, I, I've used. So let me show you the the finished process. So this is uh, my version of the Fender Tweed Deluxe Cologne. If you notice as we walk through this, your choke, output transformer, pair of 6v6 uh, output tubes. You can also use a pair of 6k6 pentodes. We can tube swap and, and um, hear the difference and maybe you can also tube swap and see what works for you. It uses a, uh, a, a 12ax7 and in the original schematic it uses it wants to use a 12a y7. We substituted that with a 12a t7 and even use a 12A U7 um, because this thing produces so much power, so much gain. I think it's a 12 watt output, but it's loud and it's <laughs> tweets tend to be loud. And this 
this is loud. Underneath, that's the turret board. Those are the components. See the layout? We'll talk about this. We'll talk about what works, what worked for me, some of the issues that I have putting this thing together. So yeah, let's, if you stick around, I'll show you, I'll walk with you, uh, putting something together. You can either buy it online, buy your kit online, just just slap it together, or you can just go to your junk box and see what, what you have, and maybe you find the right parts or they have the right parts so we can put it together. That's what I did. I have tons of resistors and capacitors and components. All I did was look in my junk box. I have the components and put it together. So yeah, so hang out, comment below. If you have some ideas, if you're working on your uh, amplifier and you have some issues and you want to address, maybe all of us can, can chime in and help you out. One of the biggest concerns a lot of folks who build tube amplifiers is hum and noise. I'll talk to you about how to reduce that and how to address some of those issues. Because I have that same issue with this amplifier. It was driving me crazy trying to figure out where the hum is coming from. And a lot of folks don't understand that uh, wire layout. It's very important. That's one of the most, in my opinion, important things when building a tube amplifier. Where to lay out the wire. And how to lay out the wire. Because you will pick up hum. You will pick up buzz from the output transformer, the power transformer, or the AC. When I was putting this thing together, like I mentioned, it was driving me crazy until I figured it out. So, so yeah, that's that's where where I'm at. That's what I've been doing. So let's walk up. Let let me walk you through this, and let's just go from there. So hang tight, hang with me. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment if this video interests you. Please share it. Please uh, tell me more information as far as what you. So here we are. This is the original Hammond um, power supply. I added this. This is the 7 Henry choke. Great to reducing noise and hum and, and hiss. And uh, the original output transformer, a 7K to 8 ohm. It works great on the 6V6 push pull. And you have down here your 12AX7. And the original schematic calls out for, let me show you, the original schematic calls out for a 12 show you here it calls out for a 12 a 7 I don't have that um, I have uh, several 12 a 8 t7 now as it is now this is extremely loud a lot of gain too much gain and too much power uh, the cabinet I, I built the cabinet for this I'm gonna show you the cabinet the, I don't know much about wor uh, woodworking but I was able to make a simple box with the with the 12 inch Anico speaker, and this thing is just so much power. I'm thinking of, of removing uh, the uh, the 12 AT7 and replacing that with a either 12 AU7. So I haven't played with it too much yet. I just wanted to sh do a quick video and show you where I'm at and what I've been up to. And like I said, this is a very common. A Tweed Deluxe Amplifier. You find this online. They're all over the place. And if you decide to build one, I do recommend it. Here's the turret board. That turret board is great. Just, just slap on the parts and just follow the directions and there you go. So let me flip this over. Let me take this tube out so it won't damage the tube. So... So here's here the here's the inside. As you can see, I added, I made a, a cut for the power input, and I added some extra components on there for noise reduction. I added a bunch of other simple parts. So it's a very simple, very basic amplifier. Nothing fancy. So let me show you over here. Let, let me walk. Let me get something to point with. Give me a, give me a minute. Here, let me use the screwdriver to point. So these resistors right here. Those are your shunt resistors over here on the input. Those are your one mega ohm. Now, if you notice, this has four input. 
I only have two input. I don't need four. And I had wired these for, I removed the bottom two and I kept the top two. And let's see what else to have I done. This wire here, this is a shielded wire with the conductor on the inside and the shield on the outside. The shield on the in, on the outside is grounded at one point. Before I, I, I install this type of wiring, I just used regular um, uh, thick uh, solid wire, and that was a big mistake. It was a big mistake on this specific amplifier because the wire runs are so long, and though that wire picks up a lot of uh, hiss and hum they're pretty much acting like antennas. That's why I was getting that hum and that hiss. And once I switched over to shield it and I shielded one side to the ground, the hiss and hum just disappeared. Like I say, 98% of the hiss was gone. So there you go. Very easy, very basic. This, oh, by the way, if you have the same type of chassis, this transformer does not have a center tap for the heaters. So you would have to create an artificial center tap like I did down there. Right here. I've used two 100 ohm resistors. One each end to the, the, the AC and one to ground. And that also reduced the hum another 5%. So th this amp is very, very quiet. You can crank it up all the way, and you won't hear a, you won't hear nothing but a hiss. That's amazing because when I first turned this on, I couldn't go past the one notch because it was so loud with the hiss and, and buzzing. Yeah. I mean, what else can I? Oh, you. I just want to share something real quick. This see these two wires. This is from the choke. It plays a huge difference how far away you place the output wire going to the choke and back to the uh, components. It plays a huge difference where you, how far you separate one of the leads because that lead right here buzzes and hums so much if you keep uh, if you keep it close to any of the components. So like I was saying, you have to, when you're putting this together, you have to follow uh, how um, how to dress the wires and where to place the wires because it does play a huge difference uh, in terms of uh, the noise it picks up. I made a mistake on this amp. Uh, I put the the out power outputs uh, closer, and I should have put the power uh, the input the high gain uh, tubes a lot closer to the out to the to the corresponding uh, connection. So my run was a lot longer, thus picking up a lot of noise. Um, if you do do that, uh, be mindful of where you're going to be placing uh, the output tubes. You want to place those uh, further away. Uh, I mean, yeah, further away. Um, and you want to place the, the high gain tubes uh, closer to the input of the components. This way you don't have to run a long, longer wire, thus not creating so much noise and hum and static and whatever so yeah that's what i've been working with it sounds amazing in the next video i'm going to uh, talk to you about um how it sounds i'm going to play uh i'm gonna play it uh, so you can hear for yourself how amazing this uh this amplifier sounds the most i can i can i can notch it is there this is your your volume your treble and your tone is that what that says right there bright your bright volume so the middle one is your bright your volume and your tone and like I said you can always uh, get better components I just use generic components that I had on the shelf I didn't, I didn't go out and buy anything specific I don't want to spend any money, much money on this. I just use whatever parts I had in, in hand. And I'm telling you, I do recommend you put one together. If you decided to, um, to build one and not spend any money or much money on a tube amplifier like I did here. All recycled parts. 
um, I cut a hole for the power, removed all the other components. Um, and I, just like I mentioned, uh, a lot of folks will use the old chassis and they can repurpose what's already there and make it into a, a lamp without having to rewire everything. You can do that, but I, like I mentioned, I, I, did, I went this route. And these extra caps here are, are holes that were already there. And I just, I have some of these and I covered them up and this is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna show you the cabinet I put together. No judging now, no judging. I don't know much about woodwork. I was able to purchase uh, some wood some recycled wood that I had laying around and I purchased some other wood and some glue and and some stuff and I was able to I made a cabinet it's not the best cabinet but hey the, you know I I put something together it's strong it's 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 it works great and it has a touch of uh do it yourself uh feel to it so let me pause the video and let me bring up the uh, the the cabinet once again no judging it is what it is. It sounds amazing. It is a do-it-yourself amp. It's not a something that needs to be on the shelf and be uh, looked at. It needs to be played. Okay, so hold on. Let me bring out the cabinet. Okay, so this is the speaker cabinet. All it is is a basic box with the speaker. It's a 12-inch um, vintage 1960s Amico speaker. So this grill... I re I repurposed this grill from a uh, an old speaker box that I had that was broken. I just cut the speak the grill and I was able to make uh, that that protector for that speaker. As you can see, the speaker on the inside. These bolts used uh, I used these bolts to tack on the speaker because the speaker is tacked on on the back, obviously, with another uh, piece of wood that's holding that. So yeah, I think I made, I think the cabin is uh, out of not, not three quarters. What's the thinner of the, I think of the plywood. I think it's a three quarter plywood. So this is what it looks like. All these, all these nails right here. I, ex I added some extra nails. Just, you know, gave it a little, a different look. So this is um, vinyl. I had a roll of vinyl that, vinyl that I had laying around. I didn't want to paint this, so I used the vinyl. Let me flip it, flip her over. Handle. This is the inside. I painted the inside black. That's the speaker. The connection. And the amplifier sits in here and it goes down in there. And that's how you, you use it. It's not the best quality. It's not the best workmanship. But hey, I, I you do what you got to do with limited tools. As you can see, some of my workmanship. Eh, it's questionable, you know. But then again, this is the amp made uh, to be heard, not to be seen. And it's something that I wanted to put together just to see if I can do it. I mean, if I can do this, I'm sure a lot of folks who have uh, better tools and, uh, you know, a better skill can do a better job than me. So this is your... Those screws I was talking, you, telling you about on the front, you can remove. Instead of uh, removing this, just the speaker, you can just remove those four screws, and the whole speaker comes out, which is a lot easier. So yeah. Oh, I added some. Let me flip flip on on the on the bottom. I added some feet. So those are the feet I added. Everything is, all the components that I've used here are parts that I had laying around. The goal was, was to make a, a guitar amp, the cabinet, out of parts that I had laying around. I was not about to purchase anything. I wasn't about to spend any money. These corners right here, I think I had these from years and years. And I was able to repurpose that. There's four, one I need, I mean, four on top and four at the bottom. So there you go. It's not nice and solid, nice and heavy. And let me install the amp inside the cabinet so you can see how it looks like. Okay, give me a second.
Okay, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. So this is how it, the amplifier mounts in. You see back there, that piece of wood right there? And you see that piece of wood right there? Those act as clamps. And what you do is this, this uh, lip right here. See that lip right there? It goes underneath that piece of wood. And it goes underneath that piece of wood. So what I do is I just push it all the way in. Let me push it in. Boom. See how it fits? All I do now is uh, install a screw here. Screw here. And it's solid. It ain't moving. It ain't going anywhere. So now all I have to do is just get grab the speaker. Plug it in. And get the power cord from this side. Plug it in and wrap it around. And that's it. That's my guitar, do-it-yourself guitar, <laughs> Fender Tweed Deluxe. It's very homemade, it's very basic, no fancy, no thrills, no hum, works great. I don't have a guitar here, but I can power this on and show you um, about the hum and about the hiss. It's quiet, it's very quiet, but then again, it's very loud once you start tapping on the inputs you can hear you can hear the buzzing super super loud so we played this uh, amplifier a few days ago and the folks that were using it was just blown away with how much power this thing has i think that speaker there's a 12 inch speaker i think it's underrated i next time i would if i was to build this all over again uh easy a uh, 15 inch i wouldn't do anything under under 15 inch that speaker this amplifier is too much for that speaker it will blow it up eventually if you're not being careful. So if you are building your uh, amp, a tweed amp like this, or you want to put something together, I suggest using a 15-inch low-efficiency speakers because that's a lot of power. You're cranking a lot of power on this on the speaker, and I'm afraid you, you're going to pop that. Well, um, like I was telling you, uh, okay. So now I have the power cord plugged in. The speaker plugged in and cord plugged into power. So let's power this up. We have it at one, one, one. You hear that? Dead quiet. It is possible to have a quiet, very, very quiet guitar tube amplifier if you follow the, uh, the outline for wire dressing and where you place the wires. Can't hear anything. It is on. Let me show you. Let me grab a connector. Let me grab a guitar connector. This is the low. This is the high or, or vice versa, I forget. You hear that? And that's just that one. That's a lot of power. Quiet, can't hear anything. So that's high, that's low. I'm at, I'm at one. And that's loud, it's loud in here. Quiet. No hissing, no buzzing. Super, super quiet. So yeah, this is my guitar tube amplifier, my Tweed <laughs> Fender Deluxe. Uh, we're going to play this in the next video. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. And I'm going to do some tube swapping. Hopefully we can we can test this and see what it what it sounds like. So if you, you are building your tube amplifier, consider the Tweed Deluxe. 
And like I said, it's in there. You can carry it. You can pick it up. Oh, this is, it's heavy now. So all I need to do is just put a screw here, screw there, and that ain't coming out. Yeah, so there you go. Defender 5E3 Deluxe Amplifier. That's what it looks like. That's the schematic. It's all over the internet. Build, your, build yourself one. Order your, your turret board. Stuff it. Find yourself a chassis. Put something together like I did. Hopefully you have a lot of fun and enjoyment. Let me flip this around. So you can see the front. There you go. No thrills. Do it yourself. No judging here. Just something I put together for, for fun. To make music. And like I said, this is not going to sit on some shelf. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be played and it's going to be used. So thank you for watching. Comment. Like and subscribe. Give me some ideas. Give me some feedback. What do you think? Um, like I said, um, do it yourself. If you have the components and parts, just build something and, you know, make it work. It doesn't have to be all fancy. It doesn't have to be with great uh, looking cabinet. Just put yourself a box like I did. Make yourself a horn. But bam, there you, there you go. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye-bye.